it's election year and you already know it when politicians court celebrities and latino celebrities are no different so we here at the latino slant try to give you our most uh even and fair uh coverage of things for you guys to comment to me and for me to respond to you in the comments below because now more than ever is the most important election of our lifetime and people are saying what a crazy year this is going to be in 2024 well it's as crazy as we create it to be. Whether it is hysterical or historical, we shall see. What am I talking about and what has spawned this on? Well, apparently a group of wonderful talent, and I mean that sincere, sincerely, of Latino celebrities recently had a, a junta, a, a meeting with Vice President Kamala Harris. And I wanted to... Bring this up for two big reasons, okay? Here's what we're going to do in this video right now with you guys. We are going to read the comment that Ricky Martin put up here. This is Ricky Martin's page. Then I'm going to then uh, I'm going to ask Ricky a question. Then I'm going more importantly stick around for this. I'm going to read comments from Ricky Martin's fan base and take it from there because um, we need to uh, we need to be clear with our Latino celebrities whom we support, love, and love that they entertain us, but we also support them with our hardworking dollars. Um, just how we feel for our con when they mix politics with entertainment. Woo boy, yeah, we do these from time to time. <laughs> Here on the slant, let's get slanty. Let's put that opinion in. The Latino slant. Okay, so what this post here says from Ricky Martin's official page, over 18 million followers. He says, thank you, Eva Longoria, for hosting a wonderful get-together with Madam VP Kamala Harris, where we had the opportunity to express our concerns as Latinos and ask her about solutions and ways to preserve our democracy. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. Why is it that they always say there's a lot of work to be done? We have kept supporting these politicians right and left for decades, Latinos, and no, nothing, nada has been done, you could say, for the Latino communities. Am I wrong, guys? Comment right now, because that is one thing that always sticks with me. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. Mamadas. Put them to task, man. So my question to you, Ricky, and to all the illustrious celebrities, and I'll show you that photo, is what 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 are your concerns? What are your concerns that you that you ex fully expressed, right? Intellectually, emotionally, spiritually, all that. What were your concerns that you expressed to our vice president? Because it's our vice president, right? <clears throat> As Latinos. And asked her about solutions. What solutions did she come up with in your junta? And, and ways to preserve our democracy. Our democracy is working. You have, you have an influence, a privilege that many of us don't. Let's just, let's just be very clear that that uh even longoria and all you guys got to meet with a with a vice president that is incredible that is incredible that is democracy that is your influence that is your your privilege uh well earned well deserved it is what it is so to me i see democracy working every day mommy so what were your concerns? What were your concerns? And more importantly, what were her solutions? What are the solutions? Speak them loud, speak them clearly, and speak them to a community of people that are millions, that are hardworking, that have a lot of uh, varied issues. I'm really curious as to what your concerns are. As Latinos, not as a celebrity, not as you, but as latinos as a whole this this is always always interesting and let me let me show you a photo then we're gonna read so those are my questions that <clears throat> that's it that's my big question so anyone there 
If you can, can can get on here and answer me, I would love that. I would love that. And here is a photo of all the... Uh, let me make myself small here. Smaller. Yo. These are some wonderfully talented people here. People who we have time and time again spotlighted them and their work in Hollywood, in front of and behind the camera, which is what our mandate is, right? We are your resource for Latino entertainment, movie, music, arts, and culture, and mas, the mas is here, the masa. <laughs> why, the poli why are celebrities mixing and, and hobnobbing with, with, uh, with politicians, uh, left or right? I want to know. So who do we got here? Jimmy Smith, George Lopez, Jay Hernandez, Gina Torres, Eva Longoria, of course, Maya Lopez from Lopez and Lopez. And I'm seeing several uh, showrunners and several influential Hollywood Latinos here in the mix. Justina Machado. So, hey, my I, I don't have a problem. Everyone, you know, you do whatever, do what you want. That's how you're using your celebrity, you're using your privilege. I don't know what I, I, I don't care. What I care about is when you post something like this, when you say this, what are your concerns? What are they? And what did that vice president say to you guys? I would love to see those answers. And I would love to see how those answers in the last three years, in this example, translated into a benefit for the Latino people. That's it. That's it. Not for yourself, not for the uh, the 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 Hollywood uh, Latino bubble that we're in, that you're in, excuse me. But for the greater Latino community. Now, let's get to the uh, to the comments from Ricky Martins. Uh, 15 million fans, followers. And if you are in the chat right now, excuse me, comment, comment now. Hit the like and make sure you are subscribed. Okay, I'm just going to read. I'm going to just, just go down the line here. From people that are chiming in, they have bothered to comment, right? Libby Esner disagree. She and Biden are ruining our country. Uh, Burde, no thanks, Ricky. Not sure how you could support this administration. Wapo wapo. She has the intelligence of a third grader. Worst vice president ever. Shame on you. Mimi Bickle. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Why would you ever support these people who choose to destroy our country? That makes you part of the problem, too. Disgraceful. Now, let me just, let me just scroll, right? Let me just... Did they end comments? There's got to be more comments, right? Yeah, here we go. There's, there's more. Whoa, 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 what happened? What happened? What happened? Y'all took me out. <laughs> Give me a second here, guys. I don't know what happened. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. All right. Uh, Mrs. Slitsky, Latinas for Trump. Okay. Juanito Ban Banana Rules. ¿Y por qué no le preguntaste sobre lo que está haciendo en Palestina? Ooh, okay. So ba the base of this Juanito wanted to know: uh, Did you ask anything about what's going on in Palestine? Because you know the Biden administration, that 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 the whole thing, and we've reported here. There's a large contingency of the Latino population that has very pro-Palestinian, pro-ceasefire people uh, sentiments for that situation. So that is up there on this uh, on this thing. Mind you, these are Ricky Martins fans these are whatever whoever they are this is on his page interesting let me let me just uh cease fire how about don't support genocide kamala harris so there you go ask her why she laughed when they asked her a question these are not happy people i'm just saying this right now maddie says i she's the biggest joke i can't understand how anyone with a brain can support her uh listen that's that's from that's from that instagram page got latinos here 
other you know i'm seeing like you know spanish surnames i'm assuming you know uh, uh yeah how can you preserve democracy with open borders jb handsome Ooh, someone's getting racy there So, uh, Ricky Martin in Chile, Nuestro Agurio Latino, okay? And then a lot of applause from Veronica, from Angie, Belleza, a lot of hearts, a lot of applauses, some nope sorries. So, I'm telling you here, from just the little that we did here, and you got, oh, about 20,000 likes, you have a strong divide here. You have a strong divide there. Comment now. I want to know. Comment now. That's why we're here. That's what the slant is here for. Like we do it all for you guys. We we you know. Um. This is interesting. And celebrities getting behind particular um, <clears throat> politicians, local, national, statewide, Republican, independent, Democrat. Um, they all, when, a, when one of their fans is not, is not silent and disagrees, they should make themselves very clear. And in this case, what was talked about? What are the concerns? What were her answers? This is a sitting vice president. What do you guys think? Let me know right now. I've been saying it. Wherever you are at, keep that slant fuerte. Gracias. Paz.